Grays Harbor. Some people may associate this county as the birth area of the lead singer of Nirvana, Kurt Cobain. But what people may not be aware of is that Washington state has one of the highest poverty percentage rates in the U.S., which is currently standing at around 13% and growing every year. So after our CMPS group had researched about our poverty problem here in Washington, we decided to get in contact with our local homeless shelter which is called the Union Gospel Mission, or UGM for short, which was in fact located in Aberdeen, Washington. But what was the UGM? The UGM was first started in the 1940s. Their main goal was to feed, clothe, and shelter people in need. But we'll get into that more later. So, what exactly did we do to help our local homeless shelter? Well, first, our CMPS group started setting up a few donation boxes around the school. In our donation boxes, we started by collecting clothes, hygiene products, and non-perishable foods. Just keep in mind, all the items that have been donated have all been donated by people in our community. After we had sorted out all of the donated items from the boxes, we then took a trip to the UGM and donated everything we had. After our team donated the items we collected, we arranged a meeting with a couple of the employees at the UGM and learned a little bit more about their facilities. The UGM is a Christian-based organization that provides food and shelter for those in need. Both of the UGM facilities have a clothing bank and showers that are available to anyone. The UGM also provides a laundry service every Monday. They do not run off of government-issued currency. Instead, they take and use donations, their only exception being construction projects. Pre-COVID, the UGM was serving approximately 70,000 meals a year and washing around 14 to 16 loads of laundry every day. The UGM has been around for almost 85 years and has come a long way since then. In conclusion, we learned that all donations matter, even if you donate a small amount, because places such as the UGM can't run without more people's help and support. That is why we encourage you to look into your local shelters in your area and see what you could do to help someone in need.